Hello everyone, welcome to my other King Crab Heavy Rifle video, and in this one we're going to continue playing the uh, quest we had started last time. This is going to be another war zone, and it is going to be the same lands, same setup. I am expecting we'll have this a very similar result too, and have a lot more fun. So let's take a look at our star map. We went from Barstow to Listowel. Well, we're going. And uh, when we're there, we're going to take the contract. And this should be another 80 difficulty war zone, which is not at all a problem. And we're playing, <coughs> we're playing this for Avalon Shipping, who apparently are our sworn enemy. So again, I'm negotiating for salvage. So I get a shot at some cool drops. And uh, the Black Knight did well last time, so I'm going to keep him. He did well because he has the PPCs. Those are pinpoint weapons, and AI is quite good with those when they get their skills up. Banshee, also PPCs, and an LB-10X. Stalker didn't do as well, but he is my LRM boat. Um... Yeah, I'm going to drop him. I'm going to put on the Marauder. And I'm pretty sure after this fight, Nunez is going to be the top damage dealer of the AIs. But let's find out. <clears throat> My King Crab runs heavy rifles. And if you guys would like to see the build again, I will show you in just a minute. Let's just finish the refit. And we can take a look. So you will notice that this is just a heap of heat sinks and a bunch of heavy rifle ammo this here um, I put doubles wherever I could so I have one two three four five double heat sinks I put three singles just because I had the space and I had the tonnage if I take these out and I put a double instead you'll notice that I have two empty tons and I have a little bit less cooling and no space to add more so that's why I went with the singles and that is the best build I can make right so let's go to our mission and do the war zone it's ready up five days to fix him and off we go so this should be a war zone. I'm hoping the visibility is good. Let's look around the dropship. I like looking around the dropship with night vision on. And let's see what we are up against. Ah, ice. Ice is good. These biomes, the colder ones, actually help you dissipate heat faster. So this is a good thing with a whole bunch of heavy rifles. And where is my... Oh, I gotta go the other way. Okay. Well, see, I don't know why they drop you off so far from these places. Just this walk is unnecessary to me. But I suppose it does help with the immersion. Alright, off we go. Giant stompy robots going stomp, stomp, stomp in unison. One thing I noticed is one thing I noticed is that the uh, when you're in the cockpit, the stomps come really really slowly like poof, stomp, stomp, stomp. When you're outside, they start going faster. I don't know what's up with that. But it does not affect the heavy rifles, so it has no no meaning to me. All right, another 700 meters and we're gonna be able to start fending off some fun attacks right black knight one of my favorite mechs not because any it's that great it just looks cool just a big giant knight walking around I have two of those all right we are going closer and closer Someone's coming in. So I'm gonna 
I probably would normally destroy a lot of these walls. Just because they, all they do is block you from seeing things. But at this point, I don't care. It's a war zone. They're just going to come to me anyway. Oh, there we go. We found something. So let's zoom in. What is that? Is that an urban mech? Oh, it's a Vindicator. Alright, go away. And I rushed the shot. I didn't hit him center mass. And as a result, he's still alive. Let's not let that happen again. And this is a Jenner. He will not get too close because he will be dead. Come on, buddy. Make a jump the other way. Um, there you go. And there goes that Jenner. Yeah, these heavy rifles, they are amazing. They last, uh, they reach very, very far. They hit very, very hard. And as you can see, heat does not matter. People say it does, but it does not. If you take your time between shots, you're going to be just fine. So this one hit him in the leg, which is why he survived. Let's do that. And now he's gone, and there is a tank thingy. Oh, let's just rocket him. Right, so we're going to go back. And we're going to hit whatever's coming from that direction, which is a Vindicator. Another Vindicator. Well, he's escalating. It's his funeral. Alright, let's just get through these tanks. And the wall, and we'll be able to see him and make him go boom. Oh no, he's already dead. Alright, that's fine. So let's take a look at the flyers. You guys kill this one. I'm going to kill this one. Good. Uh, there's a light mech. Light mechs like to come up behind you. So I'm going to have my people go after him. And I'm going to find this commando who thought I wasn't paying attention. But now he knows better. Oh, another commando. It's okay. We'll take our time with him. And we're going to go boom. And there's that commando, and here's the third one. Oh, this guy's nearly dead. Oh, it's a flea. He doesn't need all four barrels. He just needs one at a time until he's asleep. Right, all right, what do we have up there? We have a Zeus. I wonder if I can leg him. Totally missed that leg. I'm going right between his legs. I'm just going to shoot him. I'm just going to kill him and forget about it. If my team ever gets out of my way there. Okay, so he's lost his LRM. Now he's going to get a little closer. And uh, kill Steeler and the Marauder. Love it. Love this. Alright, now we got more people coming in. And that is an Archer. Oh, an Archer is going to stay at range and pepper us with missiles. Okay, Black Knight, get, the, get out of my way. Dude, like if I turn left, he's going to do the same thing. I hate him so much. There we go, Archer. That's half your missiles gone. We'll take the other half in a minute, and then you are going to be dead. Um, there's the other half. And we are now going to target that thing, which is a J. Edgar. Alright, so we are at 16. Out of 22 targets, I feel like we're going to stick around a little bit after we're done. Just to kill a few more. And yeah, this is pretty much the heavy rifle build. Shoot anything at range, things are easy to hit, and they just die. The end. If you have a smaller mech with just two medium hard points, heavy rifles work just as well. Alright, so we have an Igor. Let's take him out. Goodbye. No, you, li you lived. No, you died. Uh, that means we only have two more mechs coming in. Which is fine. Now, the uh, exit point usually comes up around the same place that you entered. So I'm going to start moving that way. I have an Atlas and I have a Thunderbolt. Oh, finally, a lance worth killing. 
I'm just going to walk through those guys, well, towards those guys, because they do happen to be where I want to be anyway in terms of an exit. How is Nunez doing so far? Quite well. There's my Black Knight. Ah, oh, the back of his head is just wrecked. And my third one is, I don't know, don't care. As long as they face forward, they're good. Alright, I'm gonna have them focus on the Thunderbolt because I want to kill the Atlas myself. Can't shoot yet because my guns are low to the ground and they could hit it. There we go. Okay, so that didn't get his head, but it did pretty much everything else to him. Now the Atlas is gonna be dead. And we move on to the Thunderbolt. So you saw how fast he died. 10 seconds. Just one shot and one reload and he's gone. And that was a full health Thunderbolt, an assault mech that just dropped like a sack of potatoes. Alright, I'm just going to head out and finish this mission quickly and see how we did. Oh, there's a tank. Yeah, you guys can kill him. The AI in this game is weird in that if you tell them to shoot something, they have no problem getting it. But if you don't, if you leave them to their own devices, they're just going to kind of pucker around, shoot around it. They're not going to be very effective. So always target something and hit F1 twice. It's the easiest thing in the world to do. And that tells them what they're supposed to be doing. So I do have more t mechs, but they're pretty far. I don't want to walk all the way back. I'm just going to leave. Okay, so this should do it. We're going to head out and see how we did with damage. Now, I'm, remember, I'm hoping my Marauder did well, because that would reinforce my theory about pinpoint weapons being better than just lasers for your AI teammates. Um, what can I get? I see a bunch of four level four weapons, so I'll take those. Uh, a medium laser, let's take that. Anything with four levels, I always take. And I'm scrolling down to see maybe there's a double heat sink somewhere down there. Because if they do fall off of mechs, like if it's on an arm and a leg that you shoot off, it'll be available for salvage, but no such luck. Alright, well, let's just take the commando so we have something to sell. Um, I do want that medium laser. Forget the commander, I don't want it that bad. I'll take that and that. And a PPC, perfect. So, yeah, Nunez did alright. Dozier didn't, but things dropped so quickly. I can't really blame them for not racking up a lot of damage. And we got some machine guns that are useless. LRMs 5 are okay. I prefer the stream version, but these are okay to put on AI teammates. And, uh, oh, we got some Thunderbolts killed. So we get a large pulse laser. So you'll notice the best part about completing these Cantina missions is really just the fact that you get these awesome weapons. You want to get tier 5 weapons. It's got to be a quest or a Cantina mission. And now I have another large pulse laser. So let's claim that. And I got some kind of an upgrade I don't currently care about. Less 2.5% two, two less heat. Uh, it's pretty much useless to me. And uh, let's see how our mechs did. Pretty well. Um, right, and that should pretty much do it for my king crab with heavy rifles i will try another build next perhaps a black knight or maybe a little bit of marauder action all right thank you guys and i'll see you next time